Hi, this is Pastor Kane from Trinity Lutheran Church, and I'm here with a special message for all my friends from the Trinity Learning Center. Number one, I want to apologize to you. It's been really tough the last few weeks. I've been trying to help my own children with all their schoolwork, and I apologize that I've not been able to send a video to you with a Bible story. That being said, I have one to share with you today. Today I want to tell you the story about something really amazing that happened one day. There were some people who had heard that Jesus had healed some folks. And there were in that village a large number of people who were sick, and they really needed to be made well. And Jesus was feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Do you know what that word means? Well, it means that Jesus was feeling like there were a lot of people who really needed his time, and he wasn't able to get, to get everything done. And he was just feeling like, wow, this is an awful lot. So Jesus was at a friend's house and he was eating a meal, but there was one man in particular and he was paralyzed. That means he couldn't walk. His mind was fine, he could talk, but he was unable to move and walk around and run and play like you and I. He couldn't jump and have a good time. And so he really wanted to be made well by Jesus. But Jesus was inside of a building, and he was outside with some friends who had brought him there, but they couldn't get in. And there was even a large crowd outside the house, and they weren't sure what to do. Well, one of the people in that group knew exactly, had a plan. He knew exactly what he was going to do. And they climbed up onto the roof of the house. Imagine this. They climbed up onto the roof of the house, which was kind of flat, and it was probably made of maybe some kind of a, shingles or tiles which means things that are stacked over each other and they started to peel back the, the covering on the roof now imagine that you're jesus with his friends eating this meal inside the house and suddenly you see dust and dirt falling down from the ceiling they looked at each other and said is it an earthquake what's going on the floor's not moving why is the ceiling moving and they watched as these people from up on the roof literally peeled open the ceiling and the roof and they lowered the man in they had some ropes and they put him around the the corners of the of the small bed that he was on and they lowered him down into the room and he begged jesus he said will you please make me well jesus was so overwhelmed as were the people in the room you can only imagine there were probably people in the room with lots of strange reactions there were some who were saying why is the ceiling falling? Why is the roof giving way? Then there were other people saying, Who's up there on that roof? Why are you taking my roof apart? I mean, imagine if it was your house. Wouldn't you be really upset if you were trying to eat your dinner at your table and all of a sudden the ceiling was falling apart and people were looking in at you and then somebody comes down on a mat? Oh my goodness, what a scene. But Jesus, who's always calm, understood what ha what needed to happen he understood that this man believed in his heart so much that God, that jesus could make him well that he went to all that length he went to all that hard work of literally ripping apart someone's ceiling that was then going to have to be put back together because what if it rained they couldn't let it open all night long they lowered the man in jesus was so overwhelmed by what they did he touched the man and he made him well and the man stood up and word of this spread through the entire village and soon there were people all sorts of people hundreds of people who were trying to crowd into that little tiny house now imagine here we are again jesus had went into the house just to eat the meal and kind of be away from everybody but everybody made their way in well jesus was kind jesus was loving and jesus said okay I'm going to be, I understand, you just want to be well. And so he made the man well, and as other people heard about this, all sorts of sick people started coming to this little house, and Jesus knew he couldn't hide. He couldn't just, he couldn't just say, oh, I'm in here eating supper, leave me alone. Instead, he went about touching all the people who came to him and healing them. It's really important for us to remember that Jesus shows us how much God loves us that even though there are moments when maybe you know you and I just want to be left alone 
it's really important for us to think about what it is that God wants us to do. And Jesus knew that his heavenly father, that God had brought him here to help people be made well, to make sick people well, to make dead people alive. And so that's exactly what he did. He started touching the people and healing them and making them well. In your life and in mine, we don't always know how things are going to turn out. We're sometimes worried about the way things are going, but we always need to remember that God is in charge, God loves us, and he wants the best for us. And in the end, God will do what is best for us, just as Jesus did what was best for the man who came down through the ceiling and then all the people who came in through the door. Can we pray together, friends? High five, high ten. Hold your hands under your chin and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus. Help me to always remember that you love me and that you'll do what's best for me and that you want me to do what's best for me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, friends, for letting me tell you that story. And I hope you have a super terrific day.